Hi, I'm Dr. Ted, and this is Fracture Friday. For this episode, I have what's termed a subtrochanteric proximal femur fracture. Okay, so the femur is the thigh bone. The subtrochanteric portion of the thigh bone is up at the top, and it's below what's called the greater and lesser trochanter. So you have the greater trochanter, where a lot of the muscles for like your gluteus musculature and some of the muscles that adduct your hip or pull them away from your body attach um, at the outside of your hip, that point on the outside of your hip that you can kind of feel. Um, that's the greater trochanter. The lesser trochanter is on the inside of the proximal femur where a psoas muscle, a muscle that attaches to your spine and helps pick your leg up, um, attaches. So that's the lesser and greater trochanters. So below that, right at the top aspect of the femur, is what's called the subtrochanteric portion of the femur. Those can be somewhat difficult fractures to treat. So um, they are treated with what's called a long trochanteric fixation now. Okay, so what we have here is an AP of a subtrochanteric femur fracture, right? So it's also involves some of the lesser trochanter, but that split in hairs a little bit. So this fracture was fixed with what ha we have here, post-operative x-rays, is a long subtrochanteric, I'm sorry, long trochanteric fixation nail that fixes this subtrochanteric fracture. So this is an AP x-ray of this very long rod. Now why do we use a long rod? Well we want to use a long rod to get down to what we call the isthmus of the, the femur where the bone narrows down and then that rod goes down through that narrowing part in order to get greater area of stability and then we put a screw down by the knee to get longer stability because this fracture has a lot of displacement forces. In other words, if we don't control those with a longer rod, the hardware will fail or the fracture won't heal because of micromotion at the fracture site. So it's healed with or it's treated and hopefully healed with this very long trochanteric fixation nail. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching. Hi, Dr. Ted. Thanks for sticking around after the video. If you'd like to see some more content from us, please subscribe to the channel and like this video.